Hey guys, Ian again. Um, so I want to make a video, an, well, another video, while I was just here, and I think it really ties in to the other video well, and I don't think they should go up without being together, because a lot of questions could potentially be about this topic. And since I'm here, I have time, I was like, hey, I'm going to make another video related. So, one thing, before I even start on this, um, I was, I've been thinking for a while and I didn't really talk about it in the first video. Um, I'm thinking about making a whole separate channel all about, you know, fitness, nutrition, possibly have some in the gym workouts, um, you know, show the kind of stuff that I eat, some, you know, recipes, and basically everything tying in. You know, I do uh, a lot of martial arts, I do wushu and tai chi. And I do a lot of parkour too, um, along with the whole bodybuilding routine and weightlifting and strength lifting and all the other stuff that I do. But my main focus is nutrition and bodybuilding. Um, so, without further ado, if anybody is interested in doing the collab with me, um, I'll obviously start by myself and... You know, if anybody's interested, you know, I'll talk to you guys and see what I feel like you know, and I'm going to close my screen here because a bee just tried to fly in here. But, um, you know, I, I don't want to be, like, biased and be like, oh, well, you're not doing IIFYM and, uh, you're not a bodybuilder, so I don't want you on this channel, so I, I, I want it to be sort of well-rounded. I want focus to be around like weightlifting and fitness and stuff but you know obviously I'm not gonna have somebody on my channel who's like promoting raw veganism and stuff because that's not what I want the channel to be about and while if you're vegan you want to do that kind of thing make your own channel that's cool I mean I'm not gonna like discriminate against you because you're vegan even though it's not personally my style of eating or whatever but Regardless, that's besides the point. So that's the basic kind of thing I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of put it on Tumblr a little bit, make a couple posts, see what people think, if anybody's interested. So, the topic of this one relating to my first video is calculating your calories and, you know, making sure that you're calculating the right amount of calories, regardless of whether your goal is to bulk or cut or maintain. But it's really important, especially when you're cutting. And that is because if you are not figuring out the right amount of calories, you know, say you followed my advice from the first one, you figure out how many calories you are, you need to maintain, figure out how many calories you want to eat to cut, and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And now you're saying, okay, well, how do I count my calories correctly? Well, there is a correct way to do it to make sure that you are absolutely very very close to the calories that you're eating every day so the first thing is I would recommend is as I said in, in the last video is weighing your food buy a cheap food scale um, get one from Walmart or you know get one online I, I got a cheap food scale from Walmart for like 15 bucks I'm sure you could probably get it even cheaper than that if you like look online or something um, you want to make sure that it measures in grams and ounces at least Mine measures in kilograms and pounds as well. I never use those. The most important thing is ounces and grams. Now you'll notice, um, I wish I had something here with me to like as an example. When you look at the box of the nutrition facts, um, at the top, you know, it'll tell you, for example, a lot of cereals. It'll say serving, half a cup, and parentheses, 40 grams, like oatmeal. Oatmeal is a good example. It'll say half a cup, and it's like 40, 44 grams or something. Now, if you don't have a food scale, and you're measuring it out, and you're just using measuring cups, which I almost never do unless it's liquids, and you scoop out that half a cup of oats, for our example, and put it in your bowl, you know, make it whatever, all that, if it is off then you could actually be eating a serving and a half or you could even be eating half a serving 
and there can be a huge discrepancy between those, between a serving, half a serving, and a serving and a half, especially if it's a very calorie dense food. So weighing is the most accurate way you're going to get your calories. As I said before, use my fitness pal. It's free, really easy. For like the oats example, you just scan in the barcode and then all you have to do is make sure that what you put in is accurate. So I'll find if I weigh out that 44 grams of oats or whatever it is and then put it in a, in a half cup measuring cup like it says, it's not what I would scoop out. And so as I said, that's just the most accurate way of doing it. For meats and stuff, you know, if you go to a butcher or if you just buy packages of, you know, cold meat or in the freeze or whatever, you're, it, it may say serving size is a rough estimate on there, four ounces. For example, like if you get a package of ground chicken and it says there's four servings in the package. You may split that into four servings that you think look the same, but if you're eyeballing it, guarantee it's not going to be accurate. And it may not be much off, but say you do that with five different things you eat in a day, and say it's actually 50 to 100 calories more for each of those things than what you think it is, that can easily be three to 500 calories more a day that you're eating than what you think you're eating. And that can make or break your weight loss. Or bulk. But since we're talking about weight loss here. And you really don't want to do that because then you're going to be like, okay, well, I'm calculating my calories. I'm putting everything in my fitness pal. You know, I'm measuring it by the measuring cups or whatever. And I'm still not losing any weight or I'm not losing it as fast as I should be losing. Now, this is granted you're being consistent over a couple of weeks and you're not seeing the results. One week is not enough. So, as I said, that can really make or break things. So I cannot stress enough you know, weighing all of your food, especially if it doesn't have like a uh, nutrition label or whatever, and you find it in my fitness pal and you think it's about accurate, but it says on there, oh, uh, you know, six ounce chicken breast. Well, you can't expect all the chicken breasts in the package to be exactly six ounces. It one might be eight ounces, and that might be a hundred more calories. So if you're really serious about this, and you really want to lose the weight or bulk or maintain or do whatever you're doing and you want to be accurate with your calories, you need to weigh your food. It is tedious at first. Family members might get mad. I mean, I'm going to say right now, my grandparents, every time they make dinner, and it's not something that I would usually make because I make most of my food, I've always got my scale on the table and I'm picking out parts of the food and everything and I'm weighing each part and they're sitting there rolling their eyes and everything. I'm like, well, that's what you got to do. So you just have to not care what other people are thinking. If this is what you want and you want to change your body and you want it bad enough, it's what you're going to have to do. So that's basically all I wanted to say about that because of how important it is. I probably could have compressed this to be a lot shorter, but I just really wanted to get the point across. So that's it for this. If you have any comments, happy to answer them. So next video. See you guys later.